wanted to have fun tonight. Um, I got a little bit nervous, but I didn't let it get away from me. I was just, you know, taking everything in. Um, and so, yeah, it was fun. Um, I'm not sure, but I'm nearing the end. Um, I'm under contract with Speedo until December, so I'll definitely be swimming until then. Um, but I have, I've been around for a while. Um, so, but I, I really fell back in love with the sport. I took eight months off, um, and over the past two months of training, I finally love the sport for not performance and swimming fast, but because I truly do love swimming. Um, and I think one of the best things about being at this meet is being with the people on deck, and that was what I miss most. Um, just coaches, athletes, even the massage therapists in the back, the media, like, I haven't seen you guys in so long, and it's, and it's crazy to say that I'm back here um, speaking to you guys. I know, and like, I was, you know, it's crazy. Um, but it, you know, my eight months off really made me appreciate everything about swimming that I maybe had taken for granted for a lot of years. Um, so I'm, I'm in a great spot right now. Um, you know, swimming the hundred, last hundred freestyle, I knew I was third. I knew where I was, and I, I'm proud of that. You know, I've been in the water for two months, and for me to go two 438s in a day. It's hard, but like I was very proud of myself. So third place, second place, first place, whatever it was, I'm proud of myself. Um, but yeah, it, I, I did not make the team under the circumstances that I am proud of. Um, that's never the way that I would ever want to make a team or anybody for that matter. Um, but Ella is an incredible swimmer and she still has turn and I am, which is her best event. Um, and I have no doubt that she'll be on that team on Saturday, but it's just heart wrenching when you, when I literally looked at the board and you know, I'm telling her, girl, you are the future. Like I'm handing you over that corner I am baton, like take it. And she's so like, you just see how elated she is. And, and you go from cloud nine to rock bottom in three seconds. And I, I was like, I looked at the board and I saw the DQ next to her and I was like, Ella, look at the board. And I think she said, she thought I said something else. She's like, yeah, I know my last turn was terrible. And I was like, it's like, no, Ella, like you need to look at the board. I was like, figure that out now. Like get Greg on it, talk to the officials because that's not something that I would ever wish upon anybody. And, and it, yes, I'm excited to be going to Budapest, but those are not the circumstances that I would have ever wanted. Um, and especially for Ella because She's an incredible swimmer and even a more incredible person. So, dude, Leah's so not ever now. I literally looked. I was like, "Welcome to the club." Um, you know, third place. I, like I said, I was proud of myself, and I was, I was pumped for those two. You know, like they are the future. Whoever knew that Leah Smith was the future of IM swimming? But dude, 433 is no joke. And so I'm just, you know, congratulating them and telling them, you know, you have shoes to fill, but you can fill those shoes. Um, you know, like Mai obviously had an incredible summer last summer. Um, I've been good. <laughs> Fager. Um, you know, I've been good past years. Um, so we've, we've been very good at IM over the past decade. Um, but it's time. It's a lot of fresh faces and it's, it's exciting. Oh, awful. <laughs> And you know, I'll be the first to say it, I am not in shape enough to do two good quarter IMs right now. I mean, they were good tonight. Like I'm very happy with two 438s, but this morning I was like, oh, I feel good. <laughs> like tonight's gonna be great. Um, and, it, and it hit me hard. Um, but lucky for me, I still have three, four weeks of really honest hard work and I'm gonna give it my all. Um, I, am I a metal contender? No, probably not, but I'm going to do my best to represent the United States of America as best as I can. Um, but, you know, I think for me, I bring more leadership to the team than medals. And, and that's what I'm excited for because I have one more chance to really show these young guns what to do. Because I don't know what the future holds in swimming for me, but, you know, I don't know if I'll be in Tokyo. So if I can really guide them into the right direction and get those new leaders coming up and you know have them lead the team to the most successful Olympics ever that's that means more to me than winning a medal uh, you know the circumstances of me making it this year are not I'm excited but it, it could be better but I oh man I remember my I make my first national team and I'm you know 13 and 
It's a dream come true to represent the United States of America, and this will be my 12th trip in a row representing the United States. I am, yeah, so I have the longest streak. If I'm good for something, it's that. I have longevity. Um, but, you know, any chance for me to represent the United States of America, I am going to take. And it, it is such an honor. And for me to do it for so long, it's, you know, it's been half my life. I've been doing it since I was 13 and I'm 24, turning 25 now. And so it's it's been the biggest honor of my life. And, I, you know, I don't know if I'll ever be this high again at something. Um, but I'm going to cherish this time for literally the rest of my life. And it, it's been an amazing run.